Hi everybody, it's Wanda. I think I'm gonna do another one of those that um, you flick the silicone on, but this time instead of going pink, I'm going blue. This is Peacock Pearl. Ooh, I didn't have any black in the last one, so or the last two that I did, so this one I decided to go black, but it's metallic. It's um, folk art sequin black. It's almost like a gray black. And then I have Anita's Bronze, which I used in the first one. And I don't have any Anita's Gold, which I used in the first one and the second one. So I'm going with Artist Loft Gold. And I put a little Sargent's Pearl in it to lighten it just a little bit, I hope. I don't particularly care for this. Is there, I don't know if there's a Artist Loft that's an old gold that would be a different color. Because this one is just the Artist Loft Gold. And I really just don't care very much for that color. To me, it's got a greenish tint to it, and I, I just don't particularly care for it. But these are pretty much mixed one-to-one -one with Floetrol. Um, I think the consistencies are similar. I'm not sure they're all the same. This is a 12 by 16 canvas, which takes about seven ounces, seven and a half. So I may even go up to about eight. I'm gonna use all this paint that I've got mixed See what happens. I don't even know how I'm gonna do it. Probably a flip cup, that's what I've done the last two times. I'm trying to decide if I want to, I have a bug in here. Um, hmm, the way I want to layer it. So maybe I will go gold, blue, bronze, black. Gotta put the black between the bronze and the gold. I think that'll work. So, let's see, I'm gonna make pretty good sized layers out of that. Probably about two layers. This is a little thick because when I flick the silicone, I don't want it to spread and go huge. And if you make it a little thicker, it doesn't expand so much. This Peacock Pearl is one of my favorite colors. I absolutely adore it. I wish I could paint five paintings every day. I love pour painting. Sherry, at Sherry's Life, you know, has said something about if I was an artist like you are, but I'm not a great artist. I'm a halfway decent artist, but I love pour painting too. And the results are a lot faster. Sometimes with regular painting, it seems like it takes forever to get one finished. Depending on how much detail or what you do and what size it is, um, they can really take a long time. I mean, you can see people do fast paintings, um, but if you really want an awesome one, you're gonna have to put some time in on it. So. Pop it off with black. I think I have about eight ounces here. I think that will be fine. I like the unpredictability of this. Um, every single one is different and you can never duplicate a painting. <laughs> I don't care how hard you try, you just use the same paints the same technique and it still will not be the same thing so i think i'm just gonna go for it uh-oh ah. got some vacuum going on there 
I did not think to spray my cup with blaster. It seems to me like if you use that stuff, you really don't end up with a lot of silicone in your paint. I mean, you don't get a lot of reaction, like cell reaction from the silicone or whatever, so I don't think it's a, a worry, you know, for that, in that situation. get all this paint out of here. It's pretty. I hope it blends pretty when I get ready to do all this stretching. Now, I'm not used to this size canvas, so it's gonna take me a little to get used to it. Bring it back to the middle. Looks like my black is all in one spot. And I've got lacing. That Anita's bronze is really pretty because it's like a light copper. Not like a real heavy saturated copper, copper, more like a light one. And I don't think it's gonna take over like a regular heavy saturated copper does. I hope I don't lose all that. Get some over that corner down there, which is kind of funny looking. lose anything that's where I'd like to lose it. Hopefully there's something pretty underneath there and when I flick we'll get some of that coming up through and up here at the top too. Hopefully we'll get some blue cells or some more of those pretty copper cells. That's moving down right in the middle. I can see it shifting. Hope you all can see it. <laughs> I tried to set my camera up so it would show higher up here and you all wouldn't lose the whole top of the canvas. All right. Now. That black really did show up. Even though it's thick, I have lost a lot of paint. Okay, I'm gonna shift that back down some now. It's pretty, I hope, when I flick that silicone on there that it's even prettier. And I found something in my stash. I have a storage room down here in the basement. When I moved 18 months ago, I put a lot of craft stuff in there in boxes that I haven't even unboxed. And I was in there unboxing the other day looking for something and um, found some, let me go get that bottle. I bought this from a place up in Ohio, I think, and you can use it to make, um, with scented oils, you can make perfume base. 
and it is cyclomethicone. So I'm wondering if this will give me cells. It's really thin. But I'm not gonna try it on this 12 by 16. I might try it on a, I might re-pour that little six by six I flipped upside down and put some metallics on it and then flick some of that on there and see what happens. So I'm going to throw some, fling some silicone on here. Flick some silicone. Try to get enough on my fingers without getting way too much. Oh, it makes those cells almost immediately. I can see the dimples. I don't know if you all can. I can see the dimples. There's some right in here. There's quite a few right in here. I need some right there. In that corner. In that corner. And... It's really hard to know what you got on your hand and how much is coming off. You almost have to just go with it and see what happens. I got a string of them right then. Oh, they're a little tiny though. That's okay if they stay tiny, if they don't get too gigantic. Ooh, I think this is gonna turn out pretty. Ooh, ooh, I hope they don't get too big. That's my only concern is they, I don't want them to get gigantic. Get a clean paper towel for my hand. Oh yeah, I'm getting all different colors of them. I still don't have very much right in there. I have quite a few right in there. I went crazy on that one. I like them better when they're apart, but with this stuff, it's really hard to do. I wonder if I can figure out a way to just put little tiny drops like with a toothpick or something and just dot it in there. Maybe I'll try that next. Gosh, this is gonna be so pretty. So pretty. I've got teal colored cell. I've got one there that's teal with black and then with gold and then with the, that uh, peacock pearl in the middle. And I've got another one right there that's the same way. Then I have some right here that are the peacock pearl with black and then with gold in them. These are the bronze ones coming up. They don't have anything else in there. Now this one has some black and blue in it, just a tiny bit of blue. But these are so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take the camera down and let you all see it up close. Thanks so much for hanging with me, staying with me. Hold on, you can see it up close. I'm so excited over this. <laughs> I hope they don't get any bigger. I hope these do not get a lot bigger because I don't want this to change. I love it just the way it is. So gorgeous. Look at that. And that gold with the medium in it, uh, with the pearl medium in it looks pretty. I don't think it's an ugly gold in the painting. So, look at that. That black in that cell. These cells have cells inside of cells inside of cells. Some of these do down here. So pretty. Now, where they bump up against each other, they don't have quite as pretty a shape, but they still just look really super cool, I think. I love those down in there. Look at those blue ones coming up through that copper. I'm not copper, bronze. And there we have some that are blue in that bronze. We have a bunch of bronze ones though. Not a lot of color mixing there. So this is what I ended up with, I'm so excited. I love these. These are, I just love these. If I'm going to do cells, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to mix it in my paint. Because then I have, I have more control over where they are and how many there are. 
Maybe next time you all remind me instead of going down and flicking low, if I stand up here and flick off like that, like a foot over with my hand. Maybe I'll do another one real soon. Hmm, like next. Maybe I'll do another one and do it in purple. Black, bronze, and gold. I think I'll do that. Thank you.